All right, welcome everyone to another Mastering the Draw license application video. I'm Austin Atkinson with The Hunt and Fool, and today I'm gonna to bring you a little bit of information about the Alaska Big Game Draw that's coming up. Overview, we're gonna talk about the difference between draw and over-the-counter hunts. We're gonna talk about licenses, permits, and tags, three different words that all mean something different in Alaska. We're gonna talk about dates and deadlines, because we want to help you decide if you should apply in Alaska. We hope everyone has some hunts planned up there, but we want to make sure that you're planning appropriately and that you find the best opportunities for you. So in Alaska, it's important to remember that we have basically four species where the guide is required to guide you on your hunt. It's called a guide required species. Now we've got doll sheep, brown bear, grizzly bear, and mountain goat. Those are all under the guide required umbrella, which means you must sign a contract and go with a guide. If you don't want to go with a guide, you better have a relative that lives there in Alaska. That's the only other way you can do it. Relative in the second degree of kindred is how they say it. So a parent, sibling, brother-in-law, sister-in-law, that sort of thing. They can go with you on the hunt and you can save yourself a ton of money and not have to pay a guide outfitter to take you. Now in Alaska, we've got draw versus over the counter. So some species, there are draw hunts and over the counter hunts. Doll sheep, brown bear, grizzly bear, moose, mountain goat, caribou, and black bear all exist as over the counter species in Alaska and in the draw as well. You do not have to draw to hunt those species, but depending on where you wanna go, you're gonna have to decide which tag you want. Some species, three to be exact, are draw only. That's bison, muskox, and Roosevelt elk. All tags for residents and non-residents are allocated in the draw uh, for those three species. Over-the-counter only species are deer, wolf, and wolverine. You can just buy the tags for those and go shoot them. Pretty easy. Now, as a non-resident, we have license, permits, and tags. It's hard to keep them straight. I've hunted there quite a few years and it's still difficult for me. But basically your hunting license is good for a calendar year. It's good January 1st through December 31st in the year you purchase it for. You must have one of those to apply in the draw or to go and actually hunt in the field. Now you also have harvest tickets, registrations or draw permits. The word there is permit. That is the thing you actually notch the date out of that you affix to the carcass or to the animal. Uh, a lot of times in states that we're familiar with down here, that's what you would do. In Alaska, your harvest ticket or your piece of paper that you notch just stays in your pocket, stays with you. But those permits are good from July through June, depending on your season dates. But everything's managed off a regulatory year. Important to remember. So if you have a permit that works in the fall of one year, it may still be valid the spring of the following calendar year. The last one you have to get as a non-resident is a locking tag. And to complicate it even more, those are only good January through December of that year. So even though your permit may span to the next year, <clears throat> the locking tag will expire December 31st. That is a piece of metal that will actually affix to the animal, to the horns, antlers, or carcass of the animal and that is only good for that calendar year you buy it for. Bag limits, how many you can kill, if you've killed too many, that is based off of the regulatory year as well, which is July through June. So if it's only one bear per regulatory year, you cannot kill two, even though they're different calendar years with different tags, different licenses. Dates and deadlines, Draw permits must be applied for annually by December 15th. You can only apply online by 5 p.m. Alaska time. And the results come out every year about the third week of February. Registration permits, if you check the regulations, a lot of those are available online by a certain date or at a vendor in a certain town or certain village close to the hunt. Check the regulations for that. And then over the counter harvest tickets, you can print those out online yourself or pick them up at a licensed vendor. Again, that's the free piece of paper, the harvest ticket, that you notch when you kill the animal and carry it with you. 
Locking tags, the piece of metal you actually have to purchase as a non-resident, those are available online if you give yourself enough time to pre-order those or at a licensed vendor in the state. You can pick those up, pay for them, and walk out with them. Thank you for watching. We hope this helps you out. And like and subscribe to our channel to see more.